Okay, tell me, what do you know about Egypt? Hmm. What do you know about Egypt? Uh, I went to Egypt two times, yes. Two times you went um, in there, okay. What did you saw? What is the, the main thing about Egypt? Did you like it or not? It has lots of, uh, like, uh, places with lots of people. They have lots of places, especially, like, history places, museums. Great. The pyramids. The pyramids. This is the most famous thing in Egypt. Correct. The pyramids. Yeah, and and its location is in North Africa. Yes, exactly. North Africa. It's located in North Africa. That's correct. What else? Um. Hmm. It's in well, North Africa. Egypt oh. has. Uh, hmm. Egypt has like the bodies of the pharaohs. Excellent. So it has the bodies of pharaohs. Pharaohs. The people who ruled Egypt at the ancient time, we call them pharaohs. Okay. They, little by little, we are going to understand this lesson and to gain more information and knowledge about Egypt and to know about the history of Egypt until this day. Uh, but first, I want you to give me or let's have these words together these are our words as you know that we have the words before the lesson so these are our words for today the first word we have is ab abandoned and then we have artifacts and then we have decree Decrease, and then we have eternity, and then we have immortal, and then we have receded, and then we have reigned. Reigned, okay, and the G is silent. These are the vocabulary of today. These are the vocabulary. Okay, let's first know the meaning of each word, and then after that, we will go going to have a passage about it. So right now, let's see this together. Okay, the first word we have is receded. What does it mean, receded? Receded, it means... It means to move back or away, like this person. This person, his hair has receded. What does it mean, receded? It means it moves to the back. So he's, he's about to being bald. Why? Because his hair receded to the back. So receded, it means to move back or away, like the word retreat or receded. Then we have artifacts. What does it mean, artifacts? It means objects made and used by early humans, usually dug up by archaeologists. Artifacts, usually, you will find it uh, under, under the dirt and under the soil, and it will be dug out by the archaeologists. So it's not usually on the earth, it will be dug out from earth. So these the artifacts. Abundant. Abundant, it means plentiful. Like, for example, I have abundant of money. I have abundant of uh, happiness. What does it mean? It means I have a lot of happiness. I have a lot of money. So abundant means it's enough. It's so much. It's a lot. So I can uh, call abundant, plentiful, or a lot. Then we have immortal. Immortal, it means able to live forever. Like, for example, I can say that there are some uh, stories about Dracula that he's immortal. What does it mean, immortal? It means that he lives forever and he never dies. He is immortal. Then we have decrease. Decrease, it means the official decisions or laws made by the governor or the ruler or any person in power. He will make what? He will make decrease. Um, oh, he will make, rules? sorry, res recidive. Uh, decrease. What does it mean, decrease? Decrease is a law that is made by the official and by the people in authority. Reigned. What does it mean, reigned? It means the person who rule. Like the pharaoh, he is the reigned 
in Egypt. What does it mean, reign? He is the person who ruled Egypt. So reign, it means rule. Eternity. Eternity, it means forever and ever. I love you, my girls, for eternity and beyond it. <laughs> okay? So <laughs> eternity, it means forever. These are the words for today. And to make it stuck in our mind, let's read it in one passage. And then after that, we will go to put it in sentences. The pharaohs of Egypt. It has been more than 2,300 years since the last of the pharaohs reigned in Egypt. But we are still fascinated by these powers. Can you hear the sound? Yeah. <laughs> okay, just a second. Powerful rulers. They were believed to be gods. A pharaoh's power was absolute. The decrees of the ruler had to be obeyed. His every wish would be carried out. Artifacts from the tombs of the pharaohs tell us that they had fabulous wealth. Pharaohs were buried along with objects of solid gold, inlaid with beautiful jewels. A royal tomb had many rooms in which abundant containers, furniture, and personal belongings were placed. Egyptians believed that the person who died would keep his earthly body in the next life, so he would need these belongings. In other words, Egyptians believed that a person could be immortal. He or she could enjoy food and clothing for all eternity. We can only imagine what life was like for Egyptians so long ago. We know that a few were rich and many were poor. However, those favored few lived in regal splendor. That ancient age of Egypt has receded like the waters of the Nile River. Each year, the Nile's waters would rise and flood its banks. When the floods ended and the water went down, rich soil was left behind. Like the Nile's waters, the kings of Egypt have left a rich history. Okay, my girls, this is just introduction about our story of today about Egypt. And in this introduction, he said to you that the people who ruled or reigned Egypt by many times, uh, by many years ago, or in the ancient time, we call them pharaohs. And by that time, the people consider the pharaoh, which is the king who rules Egypt, they don't consider him as a human. They consider that person as a god or a goddess. If there is a girl, they will consider her as a goddess. If he is a man, they will consider him as a god. So what they do, they go and worship this god or this, uh, or this king or this pharaoh. So what they do, they worship this pharaoh as he is the person or the god he has given them the plentiful and the abundance of water, the abundance of uh, crops and the abundance of food each year. And this, since he's a god, then he has to be what? He has to be rich. So he bring all the gold from the kingdom and he bring it and put it in his house. So he built pyramids. Some people believe that the pyramids actually, it was all covered with gold. So imagine that big, big pyramid that is made of stones. And on that stones, there's a, another coverage of what? Of gold. So imagine how it would be. Because those people, they wanted everybody to see that they are great. They are something magnificent. They are something like uh, superior to others. Nobody is like them. So when they want to own something, they want to own it in the right way. What is the right way? To be rich, to be a person who is above other people. With what? With money, with gold. So every time he has to show that for the others. So the Pharaoh, he always goes walking by these sticks there's a cane like this and there's a cane like this they said that this cane and this cane it resemble the wisdom and the knowledge of the uh, of the pharaoh and it, it resemble also the eternity like he's a god and those things the one that give him the power and the snake also a resemblance of what of a wisdom he has to put it on his crown and to wear it so this one is like a crown to him Okay, this one is like a crown to him. When he die, they have to put him inside a grave that is made of gold. All the grave. And they put all the belongings, which means all the money and the belongings with that pharaoh and bury it with him in the grave. 
Some people even said that the pharaohs didn't have enough of those money. No, some pharaohs said, if I want to die, then I want to have all my servants to die with me. So they can serve me in the other life. Okay, and there's a lot of people with this thinking. If you if you look to the history of China, the history of Egypt, and the history of Babylon, the people who ruled those area, those areas, they felt and they thought themselves as gods. So when they when he thinks himself as a god, then he want to have all his servants to die with him. Like we took the story before, the story of the of the emperor of China, the first emperor of China. Emperor, uh, Emperor Chen, if you remember, he wanted to die. And he said, if I want to die, I want to have all my servants with me, not only my servants, but I have to make an army for me. And he made it out of pottery. OK, so those people have their own thinking. And obviously, they are not gods and they are not uh, immortal. And they didn't live for eternity like they wanted, but they're thinking at that time, we are superior and we have to live forever and we have the knowledge to be uh, more and above other people. So let, let it be. That's why they built the pyramid. Some people, the pyramid is like, uh, uh, it is the grave of the pharaoh. They built it to be the grave of the pharaoh. This is a grave. Because when you enter, you will find the graves, by the way. You will find, find graves and a place for burying people. So why to build all of this just to bury people inside? Maybe. And some people say that the pyramids in the past, it was all covered with gold. Why so, they do this? <laughs> some people, they say these pyramids are what are the, uh, the graves of those people. Why? Because those people, they believed who ruled Egypt at that time, they believed that when they are going to die, they are going to come back to life. That's why they call themselves as gods, because they said, we are immortals. We will never die. We, even if we die, we'll come back. That's why when they die, they want all their servants. They kill their servants and bury them with, with them. Why? Because they say, when I want to come back to be a pharaoh, who will go in to serve me? Duh, I have to have my servants. What's wrong with you? Of course, I need my servants. So when I come back to life, they will come back to life with me and serve me. <laughs> Sounds good? <laughs> good idea, huh? <laughs> yeah, this is, this is what they're thinking, actually. And we can't blame them because when a person uh, have that much of power and that much of rich and that much of abundance... Uh, they they will think in this way and you can find it in history in many places you will find it in china history in egypt history those people were thinking that they are going to live forever and ever miss okay. this one this one or people people this is an object who this is um... you mean this one this picture right yeah. here yeah no this is the picture oh. of his grave this is after he died. But the, pe the real people who lived were the pharaohs. They were, they were called pharaohs. Pharaohs and the rulers of Egypt. Of Egypt. The so rulers and the pharaohs, they thought that if we are going to die, we are going to come back. So this is his grave, actually. This is how his grave looks like. Because they are yeah. going to make them like a mummy and then put him inside this one. And then he will rise from death after many years. He will move this object from his face away and he will rise. This is what they thought. Yeah, and Miss the real Yes, my love. Uh, did all the yani, all the people get uh, good for the graves or only yani, the pharaohs? All the people get what? All the people get uh, gold in their uh, in their graves. No, 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 of course not. As, as you can see in this, uh, in this story, uh, in this story and other stories, they said that the pharaohs were the rich people, but the other people were remained poor. The rest of the population were remained poor, actually. Okay, my girls. Babe, I want you right now to go to your books and page, open the page 155. It's in the notebook. Notebook, yes. Notebook. 155 yes so 100 
Okay, we have these words inside the box and we are going to choose each word with the correct definition. So we have abundant, artifacts, decrees, eternity, immortal, resided, and reigned. Now, number one. Hmm. Who can tell me number one? Miss me. Watin, yes, you Watin. More than enough, very plentiful, abundant. Abundant, very good. So number one is going to be abundant. Very good. Number two. Me. Number two, Malak. Immortal. 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 Living forever, never dying is immortal. Yes. Yes, Yaleen. Moved backwards. Number three, moved, moved backwards. Um, we, we, um, de, de, no, no we, not decrease. No, no. Decrease is the law. Uh, there is another word similar. Miss, wait, wait, wait. Miss Penny Seeds? Re. I know. She knows it. She knows it. Yes, yes. This is the one. Re. Se. Reset. Re Reset it. Reset it. Very good. Reset it. It means to, me to move backward. Okay, ruled. The person who ruled, oh, we call I him. Know, yes, yeah, Malak. Reigned. Reigned. Very good. So we call him reigned. And then all time. Time without beginning or ending. Time Eternal. never oh, ends. Uh, we call it what? Eternity. Eternity. Very good. So we call it eternity. Eternity. Okay, my girls. Choose now a word from the books that best matches each clue. Write the word on the line. Now, this is the longest possible period of time. Eternity. Eternity again. Eternity. Okay, then number seven. This is what kings and pharaohs did. Um, a decrease. Decrease. No, no, no. Rain. Pharaohs. Rain. Rain. Very good, Yawatin. And then number eight. This describes gods rather than people. Um, God is what? Immortal. 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 Very good. Immortal. God is immortal. These are made by kings or other authorities. Art. Uh, about artifacts. No. No. Wait. Um, recited. No. Recited means to, to back forward. These are made uh, by kings. To backward. Decreased? Decrease. Excellent. Decrease, it means the law. Very good. Number 10. Tools, art, and weapons from past Artifact. civilization. Art Artifact. Artifacts. Okay, my girls, done? Yes. Okay, yeah. write a narrative yeah. in a separate sheet of paper. Write a narrative about a ruler from ancient times. Use as many vocabulary words as you can. Now, for today, you are going to imagine yourself uh, living in the ancient time, for example, Egypt or China or whatever you like. And I want you to write about that ruler. Okay, how are you going to know information? Because today we are going to read a little bit from Egypt. So you can write about that civilization. What did you saw? How the people lived? What they are wearing? And how, how the ruler of, uh, of those people uh, deal with people? How much money does he have? How he go deal with the gold and the water and everything? Okay, so you can make it in separate piece of paper. Write whatever you like and turn it, uh, and send it for me on the website. Okay, my girls, let's have some more exercise about the vocabulary so it can stuck in our mind. Let's go for quizzes and start a quiz together. We have seven questions, so it's easy busy. So I'll go for this. Okay. Then this is the passport. Okay.
Okay, the passcode is 63. Yeah. 630909. 630909. Yes. Okay, I have the all. So let's start. Okay, let me see. We have Watin in the first rank with uh, her time is the best, 6,560. And then after that, we have Malak and then we have Lean. So let's see the questions together. More than enough, very plentiful. Abundant. What? Abundant, very good. And then ruled, what does it mean ruled? Immortal. Rained, ruled, something, it means to rain something. Move backward is receded. Receded, excellent. Uh, and then we have uh, living forever and ever. Immortal. Not fine. Immortal. Immortal, very good. And then all time without beginning or ending, we call it eternity. 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 Laws, laws or official decisions. It is decreased. Decreased, very well. And then we have things made by human skill Artifact. or work. Artifacts. 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 Excellent job, my girls. And let's Miss, go for... Yes? Uh, can I read you the poem? Yes, of course. So, Miss, I go to the to the, the class dojo and they sign in, but I didn't... I, I don't see your name. Only Miss Chase. I have only one person who in who is in here. Just a minute. Let me see. Lean is the only yeah, one who's connected. Yeah, miss, I enter also and I see the, the invite that you send it to me in, in, uh, in the messages. And then when I enter it, there is no your name. My name? Yeah, there is no Miss Hannah. How? I'm the one who sent you the, the invitation. It's supposed to I be there. Know, Babe, who did you find in there? I found uh, Miss Shaista. And uh, two names, I don't know what, uh, what their names. I don't know which teacher is there. How come? This is so weird. Okay, I will send you another invitation on the email this time. And Malak, she didn't come. Okay, anyway, I'm going to give Watin the start of the day. And then Malak, second star. And Watin, third star. Okay. okay, and then Okay, my girls. Hamala, go ahead and read. Oh, okay. Um I had a rhyme that I wanted to turn into slant. It didn't work out, but it was fine. I tried and tried until I succeed. Even if you don't, you always make a good deed. Your deeds are important to help you through whatever life will give to you. Through and through, this experience was true. I will always love writing poems with you. Oh, my Thank God. You. This is amazing. This is even better than the first one. Oh, my God. Man, I'm so proud of you. Wallahi, you make me proud, proud, proud. Please send me that also in the WhatsApp. Okay? Miss, I still feel finish. Okay, you can you can finish it today or later and send it if you like. And if, even if you send me this one, it's fine. It's really nice. No, Miss, I finish it. Okay, so send it for me. No, she didn't finish reading. You didn't finish reading? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you're done. Okay, complete. Thank you, Miss, for all that you've done. You've helped me a lot this year at time. I can't describe what I feel to you. You've inspired me to do a thing or two. You're one in a million. You're one of a kind. I always feel like you're an idol of mine. Oh, my God. Malak, I'm so happy for that. Wallahi, you made my day today. You know that? Tayyip, Malak, I want to ask you a favor. Look, your your this poem is very nice. It's even more brilliant than the other one that you sent. So it's all good, but this one is very, very nice. So can you please read it while you are reading it? 
read it and record yourself. Okay? Okay. Record yourself a video and send it for me on the WhatsApp. Okay. Ms. And then I will post, inshallah, on the Instra uh, Instagram if it's okay with you. Yeah, Miss. Okay. خلص. Then record it today, inshallah. I'm waiting for it. And girls, if anyone uh, of you writes a similar thing, poem or story or anything, and you want to share with me, you can read it and record yourself and send it for me. Okay, my girls? Okay, Miss. Everybody. Yellow, five minutes a break, and then we'll come back for the reading of Egypt. Bye-bye. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye.